Greetings, MuseCore users, developers, everybody interested. So, I am Sergio Sanes Kefalidis. I am a computer science student from Greece, from Athens specifically. Uh, the background noise is the air conditioning system because it's quite hot here. It's 33.8 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Mm, so, let's begin. We are greeted by the default start center, as you might expect. Let's close all this and let's open our album. Now, um, I have created a new album file, the .msca file. We can also import MuseCore 2 albums, which have the extension .album, but I believe that that extension is not really a great choice because multiple programs could have that .album extension and that album could be a photo album or something, so I believe that having a more specific name is better. So, double click and it's open. This is the album manager. So, it also automatically opened all the scores in your tabs. This is something that you will be able to change through the preferences. As you might expect, everything is extremely early, work in progress, most of these things will change, but this is the proof of concept video after all. So now, uh, first of all, we have our scores here. We are in score mode. In score mode, we see each score individually. I can double click here to change score. If I press album mode, it should compile all the scores into a new temporary score. We will try that in the end, but it shouldn't work. I am on a Linux right now and it doesn't work here. On a Windows, it does. I'm not exactly sure why, but I'll find it. I can reorder my scores either through the arrows or by dragging and dropping. It's amazing. So let's do this correctly. You see that we have both the title of the score and its duration. We could do this. Oh, great. Now, I can enable and disable scores by clicking here, and you see that the total album duration changes accordingly. So now, if I disable, uh, let's let's leave it like this, and play the album. Great. Uh, as you might have noticed, there was a small delay between playback and that delay is caused by a setting that's right here the playback delay this is in milliseconds so in this dialogue which is pretty empty right now there will be the settings for each individual album because you might want some differences between albums there will of course be a new tab for the albums in the preferences window that sets the defaults so the defaults uh, let's change this to zero, okay, disable this, enable that, and play. So, a, a big advantage of score mode is that the different instrumentation problem and having different styles for each score is solved by default. Since we play back every album individually, every score individually, there is no such problem. In album mode, there is a problem, there, and there have been discussions about it how we are going to have different instrumentation between scores. There are some ideas, and we will talk more about that in the future while I'm developing all this. I'll have multiple blogs. So, what else? What else? Okay, you can remove scores, of course. Let's add a new score. Uh, test lyric color. I hope that this doesn't crash. Uh, let's go to and that. Will it crash? Hmm. Quite interesting, I would say. What if I do that? Hmm. 
what if I do this? Oh, I crossed it. Well, you see. Uh, what you get the idea. So, let's do something else. New score again. Let's reopen this. Yay. And name. Go here, close that, open this, go here, third, new score, and let's open the new score to album. Ah, uh, great. As you can see, these albums are huge. Now, ah. I haven't done the play pause button, and this is why the play, pressing play album again destroyed everything. So this is pretty much it. We could also try to go to album mode, but I don't know if that will work, but let's do it. Album mode. Um, this will probably crash. Um, there shouldn't be this dialogue right here in the final version because we don't want to create a new score but it's here to for fast prototyping reasons so do this can i input zero here i cannot one then oh i can input zero oh no oh it works amazing so this is we soon have the first pentagram right here this should not be here so you see that the rest is as it should be I don't know if playing back will work, it probably doesn't. And that's it. Goodbye.